Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is a little bit different because I seen this post on Twitter the other day and I thought it was very interesting and I thought I would share it with you guys. So here is Slate Nick, a very known Roblox developer, talking about these two functions right here. Vector3 dot and vector dot. And as you can see here, vector dot is a lot faster than the regular function. So I looked at the documentation and seen this. I mean, it literally says that some of these apply the old function for this new function. So this brings up a question of which one should we be using? Well, the proof is right here that the vector library is faster, but why is it faster than the regular vector three library? Well, Slatenik actually responded to somebody in the comments of this post about this question. And according to Slatenik, he says the vector library is faster. It's new and it's a part of Luau itself. And he also says that vector three is Roblox specific. And then he links the documentation. So now let's go to the documentation and see what's actually different from the traditional vector three. Okay, so we are here in the vector documentation and everything looks just about the same, right? We can just ignore this for now. And if we go to the functions, there is creates, which creates a new vector. There's magnitude, normalize, that's a little bit different than regular vector three. And then there's some of these functions that say applies math.sign to every component of the input vector. So basically the same thing as the math function. We have vector.0 and vector.1, which is just, you know, vectors that have all components set to zero or one. And then we can access the X and Y and Z coordinates from the vector. So let's get into Roblox Studio and see how we can actually use this and how it's different from vector three. Okay guys, so here I have a regular script, service script and server script service. And if I wanted to create a new vector using the newer vector library, well that would be easy by saying vector.create as seen in the documentation and we would send in our stuff here for those x y and z coordinates and then we could you know put this in a variable of our vector similarly with vector 3 so vector 2 well vector 2 is vector 3 dot new and you would send in the same things that's just pretty much about the same thing now there is one thing i'd like to go over here in this and vector dot create or, or just in the vector library there is one thing normalize and there's also magnitude so let's say we had that vector three vector here and we wanted to get the unit of it or the magnitude well, that's easy enough. We just put a dot after this and say unit and or magnitude or also get the X, Y, and Z if we wanted to. But if we wanted to do, to do the same thing for vector, let me just put vector and then create. What we would have to do is say vector dot normalize or vector you know dot magnitude to get the magnitude and then throw in our vector which here would give us our normalized vector so you could say uh, normalized vector equals this and then that'll do it for you and if you guys don't actually know what this is doing by saying vector dot normalize basically it's making a new vector from this vector um, that points in the same directions as this, but it just has a magnitude of one instead of, you know, whatever length. 
So the exact same thing applies for magnitude. If we want to get the length or magnitude of the vector, then we would just, you know, get the magnitude and say vector dot magnitude and then send in the vector run this or oh, I might should print that first sorry about that magnitude then run it output and then there's our magnitude right there pretty simple almost like the exact same thing as regular vector 3 so if we wanted to test this using vector 3 we can just copy this comment that out come down here say vector 3 dot new and then come down here and say vector dot magnitude and then print the magnitude you run it again and see it gives us the same number so there shouldn't be any differences in the results we get from either of these functions so that is good right there so guys the big question is is should we stop using vector 3 so from what we can gather from that Twitter post, I think it would be a good idea to switch over to the new newer vector library. And this might be a micro optimization, but if you do so many micro optimizations in your game and always use the best technology, then I think those little things will add up and greatly improve the performance in your games. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.